so this session we are talking about some basic concepts of genetics right we are talking about what is chromosome what is gene what is dna because this is important for your hereditary and evolution this is important for fundamental unit of life even though if you are a student of 11th and 12th grade this concept basic concept is very very important now how is that this dna is storing this information and how our body is expressing this information so now here each three letter will make one code and this one code is responsible for a particular amino acid so all of this is already stored in the dna and that's why we call it dna is the blueprint so this is what this are the chromosomes right chromosomes are what now there would be a super coiling of this so when we do a super coiling of this so you are just coiling 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 it you get this structure hello dear student this is devika your biology buddy and i welcome you all to the platform of infinity learn right so this session we are talking about some basic concepts of genetics right we are talking about what is chromosome what is gene what is dna this particular class or this particular session is very important if you have a little bit confusion among this concepts because this is important for your hereditary and evolution this is important for fundamental unit of life even though if you are a student of 11th and 12th grade this concept basic concept is very very important right to have a strong understanding and foundation so let's get started right with the dna what is dna you all know deoxyribonucleic acid isn't it yeah deoxyribonucleic acid is the genetic material that also you know right so what is dna dna is a group of molecules which are responsible which are responsible for what they are responsible for for the transmission of hereditary material right or the genetic material from parent to offspring simple right so all the information is stored in this double helical structure now how is that this dna is storing this information and how our body is expressing this information because dna is responsible for your characteristics uh, like your height color of eye color of skin hair texture everything right everything it's a blueprint basically so how is this working dna is a double helical structure you can see right dna is a double helical structure over here right so this dna stores information which is transcripted by the process of transcription in form of rna ribonucleic acid which is a single stranded structure then this rna makes protein and this protein is where we get our expressions proteins if i have to give you example of skin color right excess of melanin melanin is a pigment protein again right excess of melanin dark skin color less of it light skin color adjust the shades according to it so adjust the protein production according to it who is telling dna is telling right so this is called as dna to rna transcription rna to protein translation right this thing is called as central dogma of life what it is called it is called as central dogma of life very important guys very important so dna to protein sorry how it is happening dna to protein dna to rna rna to protein right so now what is present in this dna that we have this codings done over there so we have something called as base pairs so there is this two strands hai na this strands are made up of sugar and phosphate bonds okay sugar and phosphate bonds so this sugar and phosphate molecules make the backbone and in between you have base pairs so what is this base pair there are four base pairs there are four base pairs a t g c right a t g c a t g c adenine thymine guanine and cytosine adenine thymine guanine and cytosine and their pairing is also fixed okay so adenine will always pair up with 
thymine and guanine will always pair up with cytosine right it will always pair up with cytosine itself and there are hydrogen bonds between them and that's why this dna structure is standing like a ladder or spherical ladder right a helical structure yeah that's the sugar and phosphate bond okay and this is the base pair which is attached to it fantastic now this codings as i told you ki there we have atgc atgc right and that combination will make different kind of uh, amino acids which will make different kind of proteins now similarly you can uh, you know uh, try to understand it like in case of your computer how the programming is done 01100 right that's how we code right so that is the binary language we have even more better we have four letters over there so more combinations can be made yes fantastic exactly so now you have like here i told you gga four letters hai na all the combination of uh, is atgc only atgc which are the base pairs right so now here each three letter will make one code and this one code is responsible for a particular amino acid right this is a particular amino acid now this amino acid will bind with another amino acid another amino acid depending on the codes right so this from here to here one code from here to here one code right from here to here this three letters will make one code right so that's how the coding is done over there right and that is how corresponding amino acid chain and once the amino acid chain is formed a polypeptide chain is formed that's nothing but your protein right so that is how dna store the code it store near about ev uh, you know everything everything inside your body has a blueprint of it right that's why we call dna as the blueprint it blueprint as what it decide what is going to be the structure how you are going to look what's the shape everything that we are getting the phenotypic characters and many genotypic characters which you cannot see like the diseases as well good thing to good thing but bad things are also coming along with this right like a genetic disorder can also come so all of this is already stored in the dna and that's why we call it dna is the blueprint right that's why we call dna is the blueprint all right till here we understood so where is this dna stored this dna is stored in a small compartment within the cell called as nucleus right it is stored inside the nucleus now when you have to store this dna do you know how long is your dna your dna is approximately in one cell is 2 meter long i'm not kidding meter long now imagine you are packing this big dna into a small nucleus so if i have to talk on an average the animal cell human cell will say is near about 10 yeah 10 micron to 15 micron okay and in that you have a small organelle called as nucleus which is near about 5 microns that's all right and in that small space you have to fit in this long dna now how to do that you will have to fold just understand it's a thread and you'll have to fold it so that folded structure is called as chromatin what it is called as it's called as chromatin now we have folded it we have condensed it and we have stored it all right this is fantastic that we have packed it managed by the help of proteins there are histone proteins which help you to coil this dna just like you will coil the thread around a axis and then uh, you store it right the bundles the spindles of the thread similar way chromatin is done but now imagine if the cell has to go under cell division okay so now when we have to divide the chromosome into two equal halves is that possible it's all jumbled right and imagine while dividing this chromosome into two equal half if we you know damage the dna what would happen the cell will die yeah and we do not want that to happen so then what has to be done very intelligent ourselves so if i give you the bundle of threads okay 
and I ask you to divide it properly. What you will do first? You will segregate them. You will further make bundles of each color, right? So similarly, now this chromatin would be further condensed, right? And that would appear like this. So this is what? These are the chromosomes. Right? Chromosomes are what? Chromosomes are basically ribbon like structure. They are ribbon like structure and each species has fixed number of chromosomes. Like in us in humans we have 46 chromosomes. Kitna chromosomes? 46. It will remain constant in all homo sapiens. Right? So we have 46 chromosomes and species to species it may vary. Now what happens because of this arrangement, now we can happily do the separation and division of the cell. Right? So this DNA uh, is now condensed into chromosomes. So chromosomes will appear only during the cell division and not on the other part. Now DNA has something called as genes. Genes are what? Genes are the fundamental and physical unit of the hereditary. That means we say now one gene, one character. Right? One character. Like eye color will have one gene. Alright, uh, for hair texture, we'll have another. Likewise, we have 30,000 near about genes in our human DNA, which was revealed through the Human Genome Project. Right? So, at GP, we call it. We have actually mapped the entire human uh, DNA and we know where what gene is also present. Super, isn't it? So, that's how, that's how our DNA is packed inside. So what is DNA, what is chromatin, what is a gene and what is chromosome? I hope it is clear. Let's understand one more time and recap it. So we have DNA which is a double helical structure. It has all the codes present in it. Right? So we need to carefully store it because it is a blueprint we cannot lose on it. So what do we do? We use some proteins called as histone protein and here you can see this bidon string kind of a structure. Right? bead on string string ke upar beads right so it appears like this bead on string histone see you have winding it now what happened there will be a coiling of this thing you got chromatin fiber now there would be a super coiling of this so when we do a super coiling of this so you are just coiling 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 it you get this structure this will appear only during cell division Right, it's like packing your stuff into a suitcase. How do we pack? We stand on it, we sit on it and then we put the chain. Right, so final packing to move so that nothing is left behind. That is your chromosome. Right, and when we are at home, we're like, okay, my clothes are on hangers so that I can use or they are folded and kept just like that according to my need, uh, daily wear, office wear, party wears. Right, so similar way, we have chromatin fiber. So I can just pull out and wear according to me but if I'm moving out somewhere I'll pack them in a suitcase and that is what exactly happens with the chromosome they appear only during cell division because it is a super packing of DNA right so that damage is not happening so that exact number of uh, chromosomes or the exact copy of DNA can go to the daughter cell and all of this is packed inside the cell nucleus Hope you have liked this session and understood the genetic basis. See you with more such sessions. Please like, share and subscribe. Thank you. Keep learning. Be curious.